Look who's still got his wedding day. Let me hear you do it up for me. <laughs> Look down. Say <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, she's posing. <laughs> Action. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Papa. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nana Ashanti and you are I'm Jeffrey Boachan son. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Re relax. Are they still going to call you Nana Ashanti? Yes, because it's my name. <gasps> what do you want them to call me? Na Nana Boachan. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> okay, so today Jeff is gonna be answering some questions. Wow. I'm gonna have him answer some questions that I saw, you know, from like the general like questions I've got on Instagram and on Facebook and on YouTube about everything that went in the wedding. So here we go. All right, pick, pick. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few questions. Okay. I think so. Okay, so this uh, one says Ready for you Okay, what was your least favorite part of the weekend? The weekend that we got married, we had three so, ceremonies Which one was your least favorite? So we are starting from Friday, right? To Sunday Yes My least favorite was not a full day It was a few hours on a Saturday in the morning Oh, uh, what happened? Okay, so you know what happened, but I have to, <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it. I have to say it. Yes. I have been consulting for uh, many years right. before uh, I started working in real estate full time. Mm -hmm. And I've, I have uh, a Rolodex. A Rolodex. <laughs> <laughs> a full. Yeah. Service. I, um, <laughs> I know someone who knows someone exactly. who knows someone, you so know. The Ghanaian way. The Ghanaian way. One guy. No, one. About three guys. Three guys. One of one musician, uh, one uh, bus driver, and a car rental company. Right. So I paid like months ago, right? A day before, I called this guy in the night. I even slept talking to him. A night before my wedding, I was talking to a guy. <laughs> Tell me. Or explain to me why the morning, 7 a.m., the wedding coordinator was calling this guy. He was not picking up. His phone was actually off. Oh. We're calling this guy by 7 a.m. This guy was not picking up. Yeah. Till 9, 10. This guy was not picking up. So I said, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I've been working in this field for like years. So I have so many contacts. I called other people trying to, you know, pay another bus to bring them in. By the grace of God, we got one bus. So that was the worst morning. Yeah, I, I mean, I think like there is like a, a, a Ghanaian attitude where I have noticed that amongst a lot of people that there is a lot of like cowardice, honestly, uh, in the way people work in Ghana. Like yeah. I know it's a business channel, so these things are gonna come up. <laughs> there is a lot of cowardice amongst like people that do that because when someone can make something. They will never call you to tell you that, hey, listen, like the timeline I gave you is messed up. I cannot fulfill my duty or something. They, our bus that was supposed to bring our guests from out of town did not show up. So we had to get a and few buses. A few buses. To, to bring them and that blew the wedding budget. I'm yeah. sure. So that was definitely Which, my least favorite part. Right? Yeah. My least favorite part was the Friday. <laughs> because I had no idea what was going on. Like it wasn't oh. explained properly to me. I even came on YouTube. I was telling people like I didn't understand what was going on. And that's your fault. I asked them uh, in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Although we have a laid down tradition, mm -hmm. because we are not used used to traditionally to write things down to have a systematic record of uh, the way things will go. We're all oral tradition. Yes, oral tradition. we have an idea how it's going to go. We have a certain format. But it's oral. So yeah. if you ask anyone, oh, how is this going to do? How is this going to go? Remember, uh, Ofobedu right. was trying to explain. Yeah. What yeah, he, he has tried. seen yeah, somewhere. Yeah, tried. Yeah. 
but the real thing will happen on the day i think because like i am a very like read the book kind of person and organized and organized kind it's of person organized. it's just like i was in the dark and i didn't know what's going on i mean some of the things people on youtube have to explain it to me so uh-huh. they i asked them to explain you guys did a great job explaining some of the things to me some of the things thank I had you no idea <laughs> so that was my least favorite part okay we're gonna go to the next one second round here you How go how did i do that in the first round you did good i mean it's not a fail pass or fail question no. so this is not be easy your favorite moment of the weekend wow favorite moment um my favorite part first one saturday uh, friday uh, afternoon the seeing my family everybody coming from oh, Kumasi, right, that's you know true. All of that was came. amazing and i was looking you know we thought amazing. 13 people were coming there were 20 something of them that showed up they love that's me. ghana they love me <laughs> they love me friday evening when we were setting things up, when I actually oh, saw, yeah, that was so good, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, you know, I was working in there trying to like, like you guys cannot tell, but Jeff is a very like aesthetically inclined person. I am, but he is more than I am. Okay, you're gassing me up too. Much. No, he likes things to look <laughs> a certain way. And would you think that, like, in a wedding, it's usually women that are like, you know. But Jeff is a groomzilla. He okay, was a groomzilla okay, the okay, whole listen, time. Like, listen, she's, she's, it's true. He's I'm a groomzilla. Okay, he okay, was. You know, I've been complaining. Oh, I, yeah. I need a 3D model. I want to see exactly what we are see, going to get on the side. He's a 3D model because he's a real estate agent and they render buildings and stuff. Before yeah. we sell. But in Ghana, yeah. if you're getting married, like you're, you're, you know sometimes when you're getting married in Western countries, they'll do a little like example of what your table is. Yeah, that's buy, what I'm used to. You go and do some food tasting in ghana we don't do that you gotta trust the people that they know what you're doing fast forward saturday afternoon when the ceremony started and you know i love you're doing your thing please if you're gonna get married in ghana and have any sort of ceremony you're just gonna show up on the day off and see that it's actually being done nobody's gonna show you anything before they could did amazing work yeah that guy knows his stuff yeah he and Edwina, Ed, Edwina Mar- Meraki. Meraki. Huh. So I was gassing them throughout the day, like, wow, you people really, really, yeah, really they show up, up, right? <laughs> <laughs> they did a good job. My yeah. favorite moment of yeah. the wedding was after the wedding when I saw the photos and I saw that Rudalyn had pulled up in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> so, life yeah. like that. So, she pulled up in a boat. And I was like, that is like one of my favorite things because it's like, it was almost like she was like this celebrity pulling up and nobody knew who she was, but all they knew was there's this lady coming in a in a <laughs> gown and she got off and the guys were trying to help her out and everybody that? was watching her. Who does that? That is like my worst nightmare for everybody to be watching me doing something. And Ridalyn like pretty, like she completely like owned the moment. More questions. Uh, More questions for you. There you go i'm ready for you oh, okay what is your overall take on weddings in ghana really my favorite my favorite ceremony is like funeral oh i'm sorry because that's... jeff is from kumase no like i already told you guys on this channel kumase people you go to kumase <laughs> and you get off the airport or even the, the bus station and you take a drive around and the most prominent thing you see in kumase are what funeral announcements on big billboards we take like, it very serious not adverts for malaria medication <laughs> or a, a telco note funeral announcement so it just takes his favorite oh, events in ghana funerals that's that's what it, it so, costs like 25 dollars equivalent to yeah, get married like in civil weddings like very yeah 25 dollars equivalent and you be like legally and fully married yeah, yeah. they give me a fake bouquet no it's what is this Thick ass what? Yeah, a little tool, a little razzle dazzle to razzle dazzle it. Ooh. That was for free, right? That was for free. Yeah, they gave me a bouquet at the registry. From the government, all my taxes, free, free plant. That's what I got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So under me. civil law, uh, under ordinance law in Ghana, you can't marry multiple women. Try me. Try me. Try me. Try me. Try me. Exactly.
You can't You just threaten me. Yes. Please come save me. You can't marry multiple women in Ghana, but traditional law allows the man to marry multiple women. Mm. So by by us doing all three, like kind of like sealed certain things. I think it's a beautiful thing. Because people genuinely want to come and enjoy the day with you. Right. Whether you know them or, or not. not. I hate that part though. I think it's I mean, expensive. Like Ghana weddings are expensive. And I thought it was just an Accra thing. But like from talking to people, it's not just yeah. an urban area thing. Are like, we not the way in Goka and it happens? Yeah, exactly. All the way to the end. Almost the Ivorian border you yeah. said. That was like expensive. Um, You probably would spend like maybe... Like maybe a hundred dollars per person on average. Hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. You, it. you, you probably spend a hundred dollars. Yeah, fifty dollars to a hundred dollars per person that you invite. So if you don't invite people, <laughs> you're gonna come anyway. Everyone is cordially invited. Not mine. That's I was strictly by invitation, and still we were like thirty people over. Over. We're like thirty people over. So imagine thirty times a hundred is what. Three thousand, three thousand dollars. I guess what we're trying to say is that if you're gonna have any ceremony in Ghana for your wedding, make sure you overestimate the number. Yeah, about by like fifty percent. Yeah, um, random people brought their friends. Like the people that are not invited. Random, random people brought their friends. People, My family brought like people that. Well, are, your family is not <laughs> random. But I'm just yeah. saying, some people that were not invited also brought other people that were not invited. There's nothing you can do about it. The people that you think they will understand that okay, this thing is very expensive. It's very expensive. So that's another tip. Let me, you know, consider my my, my brother, my brother's pocket. No, they just like. Should but, I say it? No, don't say it. <sighs> More importantly, though, like you have to have fun, though. Like on it the Saturday, fun. my friend Mavis and Felicity like they didn't let me out of the room because I wanted to go out and see what's happening. Was doing this? Are they sharing your property? Look, you're not going anywhere. It's like, oh. this, is it. this is it. You're already in it. Yeah. So, might as well just, you oh, know. Really? Yeah. Oh, one thing I didn't tell you, I really had fun on the Saturday. After the morning fiasco, I really did have fun. What did you do? Like, in, in the room, in my room oh, with the guys. Friends? Yeah. It was amazing. No, I, had to. I, I stole his, <laughs> <laughs> I stole his other friend again. Which friend? Arm? Arm? Oh, Arm and my brother. Oh, your brother loves me. After that, it's been cool. It's been quiet. I think we should have gone to a honeymoon as soon as we came back. But yeah, we gotta have. We have to make the money back that we have spent. <laughs> <laughs> Try and control it as much as possible, and just. I love my wedding. Enjoy it. Mm. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>